Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new today, thank you for joining us. Um, me, my subscribers, my viewers. Um, I know a lot of my views come from people who are not subscribed to my channel. So, if you don't mind, click that subscribe button. If you need to unsubscribe from me later, it's okay. I won't be upset. Um, but show me some support by subscribing to the channel. If you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate the support I've gotten so far, and today's video is very important. I, I need to expose some things that, I mean, they are public knowledge. You can look this up yourself. Anybody could figure this out if they did the research. But this way, I know that just by watching this video, you will know the truth and know the facts because as soon as I noticed them, I wanted to strangle someone. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. So, we've talked about Final Fantasy XV and the issues that we have with our game, right? I mean, there's quite a few issues that we have. And the game developers who are MZ. Okay? So I did a little Google search. Who is MZ? Who are they? What, you know, what else do they develop? Are, because I was honestly one, wanting to know if, the, like, are these the actual Final Fantasy trilogy, like the console series games developer? So, I found the Wikipedia. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Come on. Look, I even added it to my home screen right there. Jeez. Okay. 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 Yep, here it is. Machine Zone, okay, a.k.a. MZ, our Final Fantasy game developer. <clears throat> As usual, I have my cats nearby, so if you hear some meowing or something like that, it's just a cat, one of the three. MZ is a privately held technology company founded in 2008 and based in Palo Alto, California. The company is best known for its widely advertised free, freemium mobile MMO strategy games, Game of War, dot, dot, Fire Age, and Mobile Strike, which have both sim, simulum, I can't read or pronounce words, top 10 highest grossing mobile games. <clears throat> Products, Game of War, Mobile Strike, and Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire. So, when I came down, okay, before we get into that. Game of War, Mobile Strike, Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire. And then... I came across this. This game, let me find the, read more. Mobile War LLC. Okay, hold on. Okay, so Mobile War LLC is the developer for World War Rising. Do not install that game. If you used inbox dollars, do not try to get the reward for that game. Don't do it. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. When I Google Mobile War LLC, the same exact Wikipedia page pops up, which is Machine Zone, which is MZ, which is the developer for Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire. And dude... Dude, I mean, this game is 
identical to Final Fantasy. Every single button, the entire layout, your heroes, your gear, I mean, oh. You even add badges into your gear the same way that we add our gems into our gear on Final Fantasy. I mean, it is 100% identical. And that got me thinking. This is probably the same company, okay? And the fact that their Wikipedia page alone shows two other games, Game of War, Mobile Strike, like... If you guys have played those before, um, are they the same? You know, you know what I mean? Like, are they um, laid out the same way as Final Fantasy or, um, you know, are there differences in the games? Because I haven't downloaded those two and checked them out yet. However, I have installed World War Rising. And it is exactly the same. I mean, you have a command center, you have a training grounds, you have buildings to get your resources. The only difference is there are turret attacks and missile attacks and stuff. There are realm bosses. But mind you, these are all named and worded differently. Like, it will have a different name than what is inside the Final Fantasy. But even when you go to email support inside of World War Rising, it is exactly the same as Final Fantasy support. Look, here's a perfect, look, look at that. This is, a, this is like a screenshot. It shows your resources up there at the top, just like on Final Fantasy. It has the, you know, the crystal, your location, search, this thing to take away the UI inside the map, guild helps. You, you see that? Identical to Final Fantasy layout. And I guarantee you, okay, even though it does not say it right here specifically, I guarantee these companies are owned by the same people. Because when I Google Mobile War LLC, MZ Wikipedia page pops up. And here we go. And here's the real kicker. This is what y'all need to know. <sighs> Take a peek down here. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> okay. Game of War players, paying players, each spent on average $550 each in 2015 on its in-app purchases compared to $87 spent by the average player of mobile free-to-play games. And that was, what is this, 2019? That was four years ago. In March 2017, two years ago, the company, okay, this is, this is it. In March of 2017, the company defeated a class action lawsuit on the basis that players who had sought damages for lost, quote, virtual gold at a virtual casino game in Game of War, quote, did not lose real money, according to the court. Okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> Let's just give it a minute. Let my game load up so I can show you exactly what what that is. I'm sure my, um, I'm sure my other Final Fantasy A New Empire players will be aware of what this casino is, but I am just assuming OPS, by the way, I made it to Citadel 70. Okay. Uh-oh, hopefully Sethra doesn't see me. Come online. Guys, I'm filming. I'm busy. So, check this out. I got to level 70, and it says maxed out. So, there's no... 
And then when does this dark world start? If you guys could let me know what, what I should expect after this, because it says maxed out. That's just crazy. Okay, so remember the in-game casino where they lost gold and they tried to sue MZ. Here we go. Here is the casino. And as you know, you get one free spin per day. But in order to purchase spins, oh, and this doesn't even give me the option to purchase spins, which this is a really great pack, and I might end up buying it for $20 to unlock four heroes. $5 a piece, that ain't bad. Um, so, yeah, people have tried to sue them already, and it was unsuccessful. They did not win, and the judge ruled that they did not lose actual money because they were claiming damages from money from in-game virtual money. So I'm wondering if they would have filed the lawsuit on the basis of say we purchased these in-game packages that ended up being useless later on and even though they were supposed to be able to be used for your entire game as far as we are aware because remember it's not like they let us know if there's going to be a huge change like dark world sorry right so i'm wondering if they would have filed the lawsuit on the basis that our real, real life money that we spent on these games was lost because the, the packages that we purchased were not able to be used after a certain point. And we, we were not aware of this prior to purchasing it and nobody let us know. What do you think? Do you think that, you know... They, they would have won the lawsuit if it wouldn't have been such a specific in-game currency and, and what exactly it was for rather than just your purchases in general with the game. I don't know. Um, but the important part about it is that MZ has been sued already previously and they won. And the, and the court ruled that we did not lose actual money. So that, that's a big part of it there. The other thing I want to cover real quickly is that this game, let me open up my Inbox Dollars app because I'm just assuming that this reward is still probably available. It shouldn't be. I really hope they removed it because I emailed support. I emailed inbox dollar support. I emailed <laughs> this. Do not do this. Do not complete this offer because you will be screwed. Okay, and I mean royally screwed like you will not even get $1 of your reward. Okay, so this is why I even downloaded the World War Rising. And remember, mind you, I found Final Fantasy the same way, okay? So Final Fantasy XV was on here as a reward to reach level 15. And then I got, or reach level whatever, and I got $15 for a reward. And that one worked just fine. I didn't have any issues with that. I got paid for it right away. And then I found this one, so I thought, okay, well, reach level 12, let's give it a try. I download this game, and it is completely identical to Final Fantasy. Here's the layout, here's the user interface. I get to level 12. Actually, I might even still have the screenshot. Let me go look. And here's my screenshot. Right here. Check it. Look how identical this is to Final Fantasy. Your packages. Your on-sale packs. Your gold, your power level, whatever that chest thing's for, your build, research, training, the blog, event, 
the chat, the chat logs are exactly the same. Your quests, go to the map, go back to your citadel, your items, your guild, your mail, and more. And when you click on more to email support, it is exactly the same layout, okay? And so here is my command center, my command center level 12 from when I played this game and downloaded it and wasted my time to get the reward for it. And guess what? I go back and forth with their support, which what is supposed to be mobile, whatever LLC rather than MZ when I know damn well and excuse my French, but dude, I guarantee you that if these are different developers and they saw another game look identical to their layout, that they would try to sue them for it for like copy infringement or whatever. I mean, I don't know the logistics or the laws about that, but I just wouldn't think that two separate game developers could release games on the same Play Store, on the same App Store, that are identical to each other and one of them not be the rightful owner to the game. You know what I mean? And only one developer having rights to that game and the layout and the way it works. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems really sketchy to me that they're exactly the same. And like I said, I went back and forth with these support for mobile war, mobile, whatever, World War Rising. I went back and forth with support a couple times. I even sent them that screenshot right there of my level 12 command center and they still would not pay me my $8. You owe me $8, dude. Where's my reward? No, and your game sucks. And it's a cheap knockoff. Look at my review. It's a dupe. Nah. No. Just don't even do it. Just don't even. Mm -mm. Don't even attempt it. If you use um, inbox dollars, don't even try to get this reward. If you have gotten it, great. That's great for you, but I got totally gypped. And after I've spent money on Final Fantasy, like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <clears throat> so, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Mobile Strike, Machine Zones, Man on the Iron Throne. Pocket Gamer 1. They renamed themselves. A technology Korean. <laughs> you spent a billion dollars to promote games? Okay, well, that last part isn't really important. So, there's my truth. There's the facts. I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure that Mobile War or whatever LLC is MZ is Machine Zone. And I wanted you guys to be aware of the inbox dollars issue, the reward for downloading that World War rising. I also wanted to
be sure and explain the fact that Machine Zone has been sued in the past and that 2019, 20, 2018, 2019, those are not the first times people had issues. Like, people been having issues with this game for a long time, whether it's Final Fantasy, whether it's the other two that they claim to develop, whether it's this other weird, um, you know, Mobile War LLC developer that somehow just happens to use the exact same user interface and same almost identical game to Final Fantasy and they have crappy support as well. And they screw you out of rewards after promising to give it to you. And then even when you email them, they still will ignore you. And not pay you the money they promised they would. So that's it. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really didn't mean to make this such a long video, but hey, I wanted to cover everything. If you have any experiences with Machine Zone, MZ, with Mobile War, with the Inbox Dollars rewards on Final Fantasy or on the World War Rising, leave a comment down below. Rant, rave, bitch, moan, whatever you've got to do. It's cool. Um, if you happen to be in Garova's Rift on Final Fantasy, I know we've had some realm mergers recently. So if you've happened to come to Garova's Rift, um, I believe we're like on server 7 or 9. I think that's one of them. Um, my name is C-Dub's mom. If you're in my guild, hey, how are ya? Love ya. If you're not in my guild, when we're on YouTube, like, guild rival rivalries are irrelevant, and if we want to talk, we can talk. If we want to share information on issues we have with the support, issues we have with the game itself, we, we should be able to do that. Um, you know, guild alliances are irrelevant here. We are all players who deal with the same support and the same game developers. And when we're all in the same realm, it's probably the same type of issues. So, you know, don't be afraid to leave comments. Um, I will not argue with anyone, however. So if you don't agree with me, that's okay. You can leave your comment down below. But be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Keep on supporting me. Keep on making me feel validated. I need it. No, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably make these videos whether I got likes or subscribes or whatever. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!